So there are a ton of options for getting DevOps training, ranging from online videos to you know courses from universities to full-on boot camps. The big question is, are any of those actually worth it? Hey, what's up? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers. And so when it comes to these boot camps and stuff, you know, you can find boot camps that um, are free, like the one from Oregon State University, up to paid boot camps that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. And even some of the formal universities and educational institutions are offering separate career tracks. So you have software engineering or DevOps. But is that really the right way to go? Well, it can be, in my opinion, if you do some homework up front, right? So the big thing for me is DevOps is not for everyone. Like there's a lot of stuff you have to learn. It's a long process to get there. And I would hate to see you invest your hard earned time and money heading down this path only to learn that you think DevOps sucks and don't wanna do that for the rest of your life. So I think that's the right approach is find out if this is something you're interested in before spending any money on it, right? And one of the ways you can do that is I've been doing a series of shorts that are like little step-by-step -step tasks that walk you through like a DevOps project. And so if you want to see that, um, I think it's right down there. Just click on the logo down there and go to the shorts and go through that and you know, you'll, you'll find some steps to take there. You'll get to go through this process and then you'll determine if this is something that's even interesting to you or not. So if you make it through that and you decide that this is the right path for you, that's gonna give you a little bit of experience in DevOps, but it's gonna give you a whole lot of confidence, which gives you a leg up on everyone else entering this field whenever it comes time to get a job. So from there, you need to start evaluating the different boot camps and offerings that are available and see which ones are right for you. One of the things that I want you to do is ask if you're talking to someone who runs a boot camp, ask them for a list of referrals from previous students, both students who have successfully completed the course and students who dropped out of the course. And now they may have dropped out because they didn't do what you did and found out that DevOps was not right for them for they quit, or maybe they quit because they felt like that this boot camp wasn't giving them what they were paying for. Either way, those are good people to talk to before you drop down your money into this boot camp. A lot of boot camps will offer job placement services. And so you want to find out like what's that really mean? Get an idea of how many people who graduate the boot camp get jobs from their job placement services and where are they getting those jobs? What positions are they getting? When they get that, you know, it's one thing to say, hey, we helped this person get a job, but was that a job doing the DevOps stuff that you want to do? Another thing to, to understand why or where they get placed is some boot camps will give people an internship role working for the boot camp themselves and call that a job placement. And while that may have its merits, that's really not like where you want to see a majority of their job placements happening at. You also want to see what other kind of services that they offer. Like, do they have a service to help you write a resume that gets noticed by recruiters and hiring managers? Or do they have a section in the curriculum where you do mock interviews with someone who's experienced in the DevOps industry to give you like an idea of what an interview is like and which parts you need to focus on so that you nail the interviews whenever you do complete the boot camp. So when you do find the right boot camp that you want to go to, then one of the things you want to do is study the curriculum a week in advance. So a week before the lecture, you want to study it and understand it as best you can so that whenever you go into the lecture, you're actually hearing it for the second time. And so that's going to give you a little bit more retention when you hear that information. It's also going to help you advance your understanding. And the big thing is it's going to set you up to be a resource. So when other students in the course with you have questions, you might be able to help them. And then that's going to kind of set you apart from the rest of the class, because ultimately, if they have job placement services, the recruiters are going to come around and go, hey, 
who's the badass students in this class. And if you're the one helping all the other students be successful, you're gonna stand out and that's gonna help you long term. Finally, whenever you do go job hunting, you may have to get a little bit creative, right? DevOps is one of those places that it's really hard to get into without experience. And there's there's some different reasons for that. You know, like some places that are just integrating DevOps um, are hesitant to hire someone without DevOps experience because they feel like they need an experienced person to lead that transition. Um, other places, your recruiters or hiring managers may not have a good understanding of what DevOps actually is, so they may be looking over qualified candidates because they're looking at the wrong criteria. Either way, you can't control those things, but what you can control is which jobs you apply for. And so you may find that there are a lot of sysadmin or junior developer roles that implement a lot of DevOps practices in that role. So that might be an avenue for you to get that job, start doing DevOps tasks, building out your resume, and then you can use that as a launching point for your next job, right? Because no matter which job you get, I can promise you will not stay at that job for the next 30 years. So don't pin all of your hopes and dreams on this one job thinking, oh my God, this is the one. I got to get this or I'm going to go live in a fucking dumpster. You know, it's just not like that. So it's okay to take multiple steps to get to your final destination. Hope you found that helpful. Let me know any of your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.